Hello everyone, this is Lollipop one MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And this time we are continuing with our American Girl 8 Historical and Be Forever at Hogwarts project. Starting with Addie in this series, this episode of 4. So Addie is basically the first African American a historical character slash be forever character to ever be released by American Girl and all that stuff and um fun fact I actually read um her second book in a book club sort of format in fifth grade um and all that stuff so basically what Hattie was actually the most simplest to do like I did make her like more older and all that stuff I did forget to put her earrings in unfortunately but oh yes I did I did put her earrings in never mind <laughs> so basically her Hogwarts uniform um, I did base it off her, her first school outfit that came out in 1993 and then it was retired in like the early 2000s um, then she got a second outfit in 2014 when they relaunched it as be forever but I liked her first one. It fits her more perfectly. And I did sort her into Ravenclaw. And Addie and her fam friends here, they all their wands are all dogwood. Because that is the wood and tree of Philadelphia. So I put her in a school hallway setting because she does want to be a teacher and all that stuff. And she's very well educated. She loves education a lot. She wants to be a teacher. And she's a Ravenclaw. One of the nicer Ravenclaws indeed. So next, I did her older brother... Sam and Sam when I was doing some research on the research on him I um like I didn't know he was an amputee so this was the first time I did an amputee character um in fan art form I never have I never had any like amputee characters before until Sam when I was doing the research Basically, he escaped from slavery like Addie and the rest of her, their family, but he escaped to join the Union Army, and it's in the stories, it's unclear um, whether or not of what battle he lost his arm in. So he comes home in the fifth book, and he is like he like one of his sleeves is all like tucked up and wrapped up and pinned that and he lost his left arm in war so I sorted him into Gryffindor and it's like it's more hand-me-down and all that stuff but doing Sam was the hardest like I had trouble doing his like his facial expression and pose and all that stuff but I did manage I did manage to do a decent job but Honestly, not my best, but I still got the job done. So, next up is Addie's best friend, Sarah Moore. Now, Sarah is... She, we first meet her in the second book. They're in the same class and all that stuff. And Sarah's a little bit more lower class. Like, not lower class, but she dropped out of school to work, help support her family which is unfortunate but she still wanted to learn so Addie helped her um learn more and like yes that's a Hufflepuff trait and all that stuff but with um Sarah I ended up sorting her into Hufflepuff which you'll see in a bit with her uniform she has like kinky very kinky curl short hair like you think she's a boy but she isn't her hair is just very curly that's all now with her uniform I made it a little bit more worn out, so to speak. Like, again, she, she's also free too. Her um, shawl, like cape, shawl, whatever, it, like I did it like in the traditional Hogwarts colors, and I put some like brown, like earthy browns in it to represent Hufflepuff House. Her skirt is more of like a golden rod with brown, with a brown tone in it like tints in it or to like shades in it like it's a little bit more worn out but come on Sarah manages and again Sarah and Addie are best friends it's one of those Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw friendships and they work out come on Hufflepuff she was the first friend 
person that, one of the first people Addie met when she and her mother came to Philadelphia. So, honestly, I had trouble doing, like, her, like, her casting a spell, like, her spells and whatever, but I managed again. But Sarah, I did a pretty good job on. I, as it turns out, I did a pretty good job on all the girls. And now, we come to possibly the best job I did thus far in this project. I did Addie's classmate and rival, Harriet Davis. Now, Harriet, I actually, her, her head tilt is based off of her freaking portrait. Like, when you read the old American Girl books, they have, like, a family and friends section where it talks about each um, character, like, briefly. And I did Harriet's, like, pose, like, facial expression and pose. Again, Harriet is supposed to be very, like, smug and boasty. Like, she's basically the definition of what freedom is supposed to be like in Addie's eyes, but Harriet is very much, very, um, spoiled. And she thinks she's better than everyone. And you would see, she's a slip. I would sort her into Ravenclaw because, come on, Ravenclaw and Ravenclaw competition is awesome, but I ended up sorting her into Slytherin. She can even be a Gryffindor because she thinks she's better than everyone else. But I ended up sorting her into Slytherin, and her Hogwarts uniform is a lot more fancier. It's based off of Addie's second school outfit that was released by American Girl back in 2014 when, with the relaunch. And I, like, I did the top, the bodice, and the um, the overskirt gray with like some green embellishments. And all that stuff, I did a little bit of cleanup. I gave her a, a green bow, and like I did like the edges for her. I gave her a belt, a satin shafts or whatever, and a green underskirt. Well, not not underskirt, over like skirt. Um, under the overskirt, <laughs> get it? And I put black and like light green embellishments. She also has the dogwood wand, and I actually had to position it well to fit with her grass, her hand position pose. But anyways, that is about it with doing Addie and her family. Um, all this is up on my DeviantArt. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media like Twitter, Instagram, and also on my DeviantArt. And I will see you for the next episode. Peace out.